Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Victory and Glory with, I don't know what Napoleon's looking at. He's like, looking at Russia. Don't look at that. No. Avert your eyes. That's bad things. He's peeking out between the hand and the thumb. Whatever. <laughs> so last time, holy crap, we won a bunch of naval battles. We was, lost one little one. We wathed it. Well, that's not a big deal. Napoleon is marching towards Vienna, or at least trying to threaten Vienna. We have an army in Picardy to threaten the English fleet that if they move, we can attack Cornwall. We'd have a hard time with that because there is an army in London. How big is that army? Three infantry, two artillery, and two cavalry. It doesn't seem big, but our army in Picardy isn't big. And we would not be able to move over a lot of people because we only have six naval transport factor. We can only send over six guys per turn. We were making one political point each turn because of a card we played and because we own Egypt. And we are moving towards Constantinople to try and knock the Ottomans out of the war. We're fighting the Ottomans, the Austrians, and the Brits, and everyone else is neutral currently. An enemy approaches. A hostile army has moved into the region of, region of Anatolia. It's commanded by Ali Pashi. Who? Oh, right down here, our army! <laughs> It contains eight infantry, six cavalry units, no artillery units. So we're getting attacked by the Ottomans. Oh, uh, I, f I forgot to pick to defend. All right, if you look at their army, you can see here in Akasa, who's their leader? You can see he wears fancy things. I'm the prettiest general ever, Ali Pashi. They have a lot more troops than us, but if you notice, they have no artillery. The Ottomans can't get artillery. Well, they can't buy it. They have these regular infantry, and then they have light cavalry. Their units are not as good as ours, but they do have a lot more units than we do. So we're going to just start putting our units up. And the reason their units aren't as good is they're not as technologically advanced as we are, militarily. I don't think we have enough people for every flank. So we'll probably go like that. They might move everybody up to attack us. In fact, they're going to have to unless they want to sit there and get bombarded. They did attack us, after all. So we're going to... Let's see, we got 11 guys. We might as well fire. What is our best shot? Probably shooting at infantry. All right, you can see they're doing one of the full court press. Let's see if we can square one of these guys. We succeeded in squaring him. Excellent. That's why I put Kelver on each flank to attempt that if need be. Let's we'll see if we can shoot the squared guy. You can see excellent attack as opposed to average attack because they're all jumbled up. Not really jumbled up, but they're all more concentrated in their squared unit defending against the Kelver attack. Oh, we killed one! Hell yeah, we drew first blood! Excellent. I am still a little worried because they do outnumber us. Oh, we killed another! Most excellent. Uh, we're going to have to unfortunately pass an initiative turn. Oh, they're going to get to move a bunch of guys in a row, I think. Uh, apparently they're not coming over... On the right flank. Oh, there they are. It was just a matter of time, I guess. Alright, hopefully our guys here that are disrupted with the giant Ds. My D is so big, you don't even know it. We'll settle down. We're going to try and square this guy. That's super important right away. Because I don't want them to get three lucky shots and destroy us. Oh, we killed them. Okay, our left flank is alright. Let's worry here in the center. Oh, we disrupted them. That's something. We really want to kill these guys if we can, though. Uh, a retreat is something, too. We'll, we'll take that. That's a little less good. Yeah, killed that guy. Let's see if we can square one of these dudes. And then let's blast him. Hell yeah, we murdered him. I wish all our battles were this good. 
Unfortunately, Austria and Great Britain have much better units than the Ottomans do. Suck it, Coach Club. Now, uh, they haven't really even attacked yet. We're going to pass the initiative because that's a weak attack and I don't want to get disrupted by attacking. Uh, unfortunately, those guys retreated. I don't like that. That was a risk that might happen. Oh, they retreated too? Ooh, tight things over there on that side. Thank God the artillery held. Oh, they killed one of our guys. Our right flank is a little threatened to say the least. All right, we need to rally a guy. Oh, he failed to rally. And he failed to rally. Oh my God, terrible leadership on our side. That's not good. Our right flank is severely risked right now. We're gonna try and make sure we can kill one of these guys. Oh no, we got killed! That hardly ever happens with an attack like that. Oh yes, we killed one of theirs! Alright, we're a little better on the right flank as long as he... Oh, and he got killed! Son of a bitch. Hold artillery! Oh, they're disrupted now. Well, they got overrun and murdered! That's horrible. Oh, we needed that win right there. Uh, you got those guys to retreat? That's pretty good. Can you get these guys to retreat? Oh man, that sucks. Well, we could retreat now, but we don't want to. Oh, but they're gonna retreat! Shoot! Uh, we're gonna decline pursuit. We killed more of their guys, but the worst thing is they killed that artillery unit. And that artillery unit was going to be key, ideally, to our victory with them in the long run. Uh, we got a new forced uh, march card for winning a big old battle like that. Well, right away, we're going to look at our political stuff. We want to use the political point on keeping Russia neutral. And then we're going to go attack. We're not getting any attrition down here because it's really warm down there. And if we were up north, we would have to worry about cold weather attrition. Oh, what the hell? I, I somehow reorganized everybody in a way I did not intend to. <laughs> All right, they gotta go first. What are our best shots? Our best shot is probably to square a guy. Uh, we're just gonna go attack Calvary to Calvary. Oh, that works out! Oh, they killed one of our infantry! Poops McGee. Let's return the favor. I said let's return the favor. Oh, our infantry is not doing so hot right there. Come on, infantry, you gotta do it. We're all supposed to be the better trained Western European army, and this is not coming out so good. Alright, there we go. We killed another one. You can hear the guys dying. Oh, So we are even, aren't we? Six on six? Alright, Calvary to Calvary again. Oh, that did not work. Oh, and our guys are retreating. No, you buttheads. Our discipline is lacking. I'll buy you a granola bar if you win. If you don't, I'll kick you in the jimmy. That should... That didn't inspire anybody. Well, our army is doing a less than stellar job to say the least. This is like the, this is the battle of the morons. They attack us and get disrupted. We attack them and get disrupted.
Oh no, and our cavalry retreated. That's bad. Uh, your army prevails in a minor battle. The enemies withdrew in disarray. Your glory knows about. So we won and they retreated. That is excellent. That means in the buying phase, I don't think they can buy anything because we occupy their capital. And our armies are evenly matched now. That so much for thinking I was going to have a big Egyptian army march back. <laughs> the important thing, though, is we are winning. We're not going to move anybody in the north because we take penalties if we do that. Uh, we are going to move the fleet, though, as that doesn't have to worry about it. They're weatherproof, I guess. We're going to move them back to Brittany. Any cards? Recruit some dudes. That doesn't really matter at the moment. Forced March. Definitely doesn't matter right now. Ooh, we can pick Storms! This is a great card that damages the British fleet. We're going to pick that, because maybe we can use that, get enough of their guys destroyed, and then go and attack their fleet. Ottoman Empire defeated. You have humbled the mighty Ottoman Empire. Troops now occupy Constantinople. Asia Minor is now the, a dominion of France. Wait, diplomacy has reduced Turkey to the status of a friendly neutral power. That state will last for the rest of the game. We get the Imperial Guard card as a reward. And Forced March. Oh yeah, we get two cards for defeating a major empire. And we're going to get political points for that as well. Ottoman Peace Treaty. With the defeat of Russia, the Ottoman Empire has agreed to terms... Russia? Uh, what does Russia have to do with it? Has agreed to terms with France and all the Allied nations. All previously held territory will be returned to Ottoman control, and the Ottoman Empire will assume a position of neutrality towards all major powers. All foreign forces will be to return to areas under their control, as will all Ottomans. Alright, so our guys magically fly back. Uh, gate well open. The gateway to India is once again open for Britain. France will no longer accrue political advantages for interrupting this vital line of communication. In order to regain this advantage, you must reestablish control of Egypt and play a second gateway to e India card. Oh, I didn't know that would go away. Spain is uh, neutral again. That means that Britain can try and woo them. Let us get some ships. We can get four new units. We're going to get all ships. I want to look over here, but I can't move the map. Uh, that sucks that we don't get those political points anymore. But we might have a chance to go after the golden prize. Why is our marker on there? Why... Are they like some sub... That's the French marker. If you're playing the board game version, you put that on something when you own it, so I don't understand why that's there. Are they a part of us? We have a bunch of political points. Let's go apply a bunch to Russia. We can only do two in a turn. We have six guys here. Wrong button. All right, we're going to use... Remember that storm card I mentioned earlier? We're going to use the storm card. Select one British fleet. Each squadron in the fleet must check for storm damage with the following probabilities. 15% would be sunk. or 15% chance of being sunk. 35% of damage and sent to London for refit. The other 50% are unscathed. Uh, damage uh, squadrons will be back online in two turns. Hopefully we damage some of them. Two squadrons damaged by storm. All right, that's something. Uh, it's a sad day that none of them got killed. Whatever. Alright, so let us merge all these fleets here. I cannot believe we have such a big fleet. And we're going to move it into the English Channel to engage their fleet. I have never ever had this in the game before. Where we're at that kind of a naval advantage as we currently have. So let us get all these ships out here. They're going to have to fight two rounds. They might still damage or take out some of our ships. I don't know. Take me out on a date. 
That caused light damage to something, right? Ooh, damage some more. They had to damage our ship. That's rude. So rude. British, learn some manners. Lay manners, as we say here in France. Uh, it would be nice if we could take out one of these ships. Our guys are kind of having a hard time after the initial hit. There we go, we at least made it disordered. We'll fight the next round, they have to fight one more round. And they sunk one of our ships. Butts McGee. They sunk two of our ships. Oh my god, this is turning against us so fast. Come on, let's capture a ship. Capture it, you morons. Oh, uh, they sunk it at least. Uh, the enemy fleet's going to retreat. That was not a good battle for us. We lost two, they lost one. The important thing, though, is we have control of the English Channel, at least temporarily. So how many people can we transfer at once? 11 naval transport factor? Interesting. I almost think we need to pull back and go all out on England. Oh shit, these guys can't all come because some of them are militia dudes. What do you have here? One infantry unit? Oh, the two is the naval units. Alright, we're going to... There's no uh, interception chance because we control the channel. I can't believe it. We're actually insulting. Insulting England? We're actually assaulting England. You're ugly! <laughs> That'll show them. Uh, what are the best odds for shooting? Probably with the artillery. No, with the infantry, actually. Alright, we'll go with that. Uh, we've already disordered them. Hell yeah. And we killed them! If we get rid of England, we might actually win a game. I mean, last time we had a major victory, but like one without going all the years. Your army has managed to win a small battle. The enemy was completely destroyed. Uh, the fleet escaped to sea. Uh, can't we attack them again? Oh, excellent! So we're able to force them back out to sea where we're like, hey, guess what, dudes? We're still waiting. And we want revenge for last time when you sank two of our ships. Please don't sink more of our ships. You already screwed us up last time. Alright, good. Our ship survived. It would be awesome if we could capture another ship. And I'm doing this twofold. Is I want to get rid of these ships. Because I want to land... Remember those guys who went to Constantinople from Egypt? They're in a port. I want to have them come and land in Cornwall to reinforce the army that's already there. I believe we will capture this guy if they try and leave. Well, they can't leave this turn anyway. Well, it disabled our ship. Well, disorganized it. Keep, keep, keep getting the Ds wrong. You think disabled in a naval situation. Why don't we shoot at this other ship while we're at it then? There we go. We damaged it. Let's damage it some more. So let's see. Do we capture them when they're that damaged or not? Oh, I didn't want to shoot with these guys, but apparently we have to. No, we did capture them! Because we uh, basically essentially did disable them. Holy crap, we caught two more British ships! It'll be once again a couple turns before they're online and ready to go, but that's huge! Huge! Oh my god, we have decimated the British Navy. That is so freaking awesome. We're going to take these guys. We're going to move them into Cornwall. 
There are no British ships in the way to stop us. We're going to take Napoleon's army. We're going to move them back to Belgium. The reason I'm doing that is if we need a second wave to go into England, we're going to pull them out of his army. Because it's much more important for us to get rid of the British than the Austrians. We've already knocked the Ottomans out of the war. Oh, we do have political points. Oh, we can't use those. What about cards? I don't see anything we can use right now. We might use Napoleon. Oh, we could use Imperial Guard. Let us use that on here. We'll make one of our regular infantry into a heavy infantry. We might need that. These guys have three artillery units. They could be a problem if they attack us. Even though we slightly outnumber them, we only have one artillery unit. And I think that's it. Uh, they're using political points to try and get pressure into the war. Allied card played. Oop, they're trying to get someone into the war with a diplomatic overture. And Prussia's like, no, we're not going to attack France. That's right, France is cool. What up now, Austria? Look at those Prussian troops up there. Oh, I got scared for a second when I saw the Spanish troops moving around. Because it reminded me of the last time I LP'd this and Spain came and attacked us. So we got the better of them in the long run. I certainly did not think when I started this LP that we would be in England by, what is this, the second episode? I didn't think we'd ever get to England. I hoped we would. Oh, and there we are in Cornwall. Alright, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to send some reinforcements into Cornwall and prepare to move on London. At the same time, probably pulling back with troops to try and defend Paris because sooner or later Austria is going to bring these guys up here. Oh man, that would be so cool if we could take London and knock them out of the war. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see y'all next time.